welcome to another collective reading. I hope you all are doing amazing and having a good week so far. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific Zodiac placements, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them as usual. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below where you can find more information about joining in the description box. I am hosting a return to sender ritual, collective ritual tomorrow night. Um, if you're interested in that, there will be more information about it in the comment section. Okay. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I've been posting pretty much daily on there, okay, or on those sites. So we have possibilities here. I keep seeing, like, as I'm shuffling, I keep seeing masks. So I don't know if there's you're wearing a mask, somebody you're dealing with is wearing a mask. Um, they're not showing their true self or their true intentions, true feelings, whatever it is. But I keep seeing masks. So that could be significant to you in some way. Um, but it says there's potential in this relationship. However, no, this could translate to being a project. It's up to you to decide if it's worth it. So some of you guys may be trying to decide if somebody is like your person or if like there's somebody you should, that, that they're not your person. They're just somebody you should be letting go of. Let's see. Mm, so because, yeah, we have lusting here. So, you know that there's a strong, like, sexual connection between you and this person. Somebody's trying to figure out, is this love or is this lust? Is this just, you know, is this temporary? Is this supposed to be long term? Yeah, this is what I saw when I was shuffling. False hope. So, yeah, another card with it. This is the card. I, one of the cards I saw with the mask on it. Some of you guys could be dealing with a false twin or, like, a, fa a car which a false twin to me is a karmic. Okay. We have regret. Clarify possibilities. We have lessons. You do have a soul contract with whoever this person is. It doesn't matter what type of connection it is. Whoever this is that's coming through, you have a soul contract with them. You did um, agree to teach each other lessons in this lifetime, okay? Clarify lusting. We have hesitation. So somebody has a fear of rejection. Somebody's not totally trusting the connection. This could be you. This could be them. Right timing. Both of your souls have evolved. See, some, there's like a lot of doubt here. Your hard work is being rewarded. Hmm. Clarify regret cycle. So somebody... Your situation is gaining momentum. Get ready for a big change. Be sure to stay grounded as the change can throw you off your center. So things are, if things have been stagnant, things are about to speed up or start progressing. Why? So is this a false? Who is this to them? I feel like what the problem is, guys, is that there's somebody that you're, some of you guys have a twin, right? A true twin. But the problem is because I saw a passing soulmate on the back of the deck. So somebody is still attached because, yeah, we have blocked here. Your connection is blocked either by a third party or some outside influence to shift your focus on yourself and release them for now. So what I was going to say was that like, I do feel like you guys have a twin here who is involved. Either you're involved with a passing soulmate or a false twin or they're involved with a passing soulmate or a false twin. They were supposed to meet that person. They were supposed to encounter them, teach each other lessons, learn, you know, karma. They had karma to sort out or whatever, but Spirit is saying until they go through the evolution, until you go through the evolution, you're supposed to. Yeah, I'll also lead you on tell you they feel the same way about you, only for you to discover later on this isn't the case. I don't know if somebody's leading them on or somebody or they're leading somebody on. I don't know what that's about. 
there's somebody that they are still dealing with where like they don't know how they feel about that. I don't know. There's something going on here. Your twin, your twin will feel safer being friends first before getting intimate. Learn to enjoy the present moment and discover your playful side. So you could be dealing with somebody that there is like a very strong connection between the two of you, but they've been trying to keep things more surface level with you for right now. You maybe have gone through like some cycles with this person. They, Whoever this false person is that's involved is they've been going through cycles with this person too. Huh? Tell me more about what this means for my collective. Where does my collective fit into this situation? Where does my collective fit into this situation? See, you do have a twin. It says your twin flame could be, could be experiencing the dark night of the soul, a period of spirit, spiritual desolation, disconnection, and emptiness inside. Some of you guys be trying to figure out, like, is this my soulmate? Is this my twin? Like, the, there's a lot of confusion here. But, yeah, you're going through the dark night or they're going through the dark. It says they're going through it, though. They're going through a... um. A difficult period right now but it's meant to help them elevate and awaken see yeah it's like they're losing their old identity pretty much it's almost like somebody's been in some type of connection where like they've like lost themselves or something like that so now it's like they're trying to get back to themselves they're or they're trying to get back get to who they are their authentic self maybe they've never even really come into their authentic self so we have gift here okay and we have one way two goals so the, whoever this person is you guys are very different you guys do things very differently but it's not a lost cause it doesn't look like it is yeah you just get each other perhaps you finish each other's sentences or know what they are thinking this connection feels effortlessly effortless goodness somebody's gonna invite you out or they're going to make some type of romantic gesture to bring you guys into union. But how is it getting to that point? See, we have breakup. What's to do with my this person? See, I feel like they're leaving somebody. Somebody is leaving a false twin or a passing soulmate. Somebody is breaking up, going through a breakup here. This time, there's no going back. You're reclaiming your self-worth and beginning the healing process. Somebody is breaking up with a karmic or a false twin. And it's like they're taking their power back here because we, when it comes to you and this person, we have divine mission. Your union will impact the world in some large scale that will help heal many on this planet through some sort of a spiritual service. So even if it's not a spiritual service, you and this person have a purpose together, okay? But like, so they, they're, going through a, they're going through an ending. That's why you and this person aren't together right now. Whether you know this or not, see, because we have the mask here. I feel like something is being kept hidden from you. I feel like well, that's what you don't know is that this person is going through a breakup and they're going through the dark night of the soul. Tell me more. Memories haunted by the past, relieving the good and the bad memories of an old flame. See, or if, if it's not that, that they are going through a breakup right now, they're still healing from somebody else. It's like they have to still like heal from whatever they went through with whoever this karmic or this false twin was. Yeah, because we have love lost here too. It's somebody that they either have a child with. They're still attached to this person in some way. Like, they may not be like, they may not be like, okay, like we're together. But like, they're still attached to them in some way. Whether it's a child or it says responsibilities. It could be somehow, somehow children could be involved or it says joint assets or financial reasons. Somebody is, this whoever your, per, their, your twin is, or this could be you, it could be vice versa. The reason why things aren't working out between the two of you is because they still need to leave something. They need, like, even if they say they're not with that person or we're just living together. No, there's like something they need to break up the assets. They need to learn how to be financially independent from this person. Like they haven't come, like there's no love between them and this karmic, but they're still dealing with them to some degree. But maybe with this break, because it says they are, there's no going back. Like it's a done deal. If it hasn't happened yet, it's going to be happening soon. So that's what, and I just did a, what was it? This, I think it was a twin flame reading. Yeah, it was a twin flame reading I did a few days ago. It says that the, a third party situation is coming to a final end because this person is ending things with this karmic. Yep, they're figuring out how to be able to separate from this person. Like whatever has happened between the two of them, it's like the final straw. And it's like, but they need to heal from what, what they went, went through with that person too at the same time. So... 
what does that mean for so why are, what is finally putting the final nail in the coffin and leading to this ending we have crossroads yep your twin knows they have to make a choice but there's a lot of confusion surrounding this decision they're taking the time to get clarity okay mania love Ooh. see they could have somebody around them that's freaking crazy or they have an issue. I was literally just about to say they have an issue with codependency. That's what I was getting at when I was like, they need to take the time to heal from this person that they're leaving, not just jump into another situation. This kind of love leads into madness and obsessiveness, often wanting a reinforcement of your own value, which can lead to codependency. Yeah. And we have waiting game. How long will you continue to wait? If you find you're not receiving what you want from your twin, it's time to practice self-love and walk away. So Spirit is urging you to walk away from this person. At least for right now. But the, it looks like you walking away is going to lead to a breakthrough. This has been coming through heavy in the readings. It says your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level. Believe in miracles. Something that I've been pondering today guys and i'm gonna share it with you because i kind of see it's like kind of tying in with this reading downloads i've been getting today i feel like um what spirit wants me to tell you guys is that when it comes to, for those of you that are in situations where you have a twin flame but your twin flame is like still attached to another person or they're in the process of trying to leave another person or whatever they're they're, they're leaving a third party all right and then they may, tr it's like, I feel like they, they may try to come towards you, right? Just say this person, come, they leave this person and then they rush right into trying to have something with you. It's not going to work. It's not going to yield the results that you really want with this person. So if this person gets out of one thing and then they try to run in, if they, just and you'll know too, if this person's being really pushy or they're trying to rush you into something, that's a red flag. If they're, if they're coming towards you very calm and willing to be patient and to take things slow and things like that, that's a green flag, right? Also, it's going to be important. It's something about this person not coming towards you for the right reasons. So yes, they may feel this deep twin flame connection to you or whatever type of connection this is, soulmate. But them rushing towards you or trying to rush you into something, it's like it's not for the right reasons. Remember, this person was staying with this karmic for other reasons, not, but not because they loved that person, but because of responsibilities, children, joint assets, financial reasons. So if they're, and then also remember, Spirit says this person has an issue with codependency. So what this person really needs to be focusing on is being self-sufficient healing, working on themselves, being stable within themselves, building a solid foundation for themselves. Because if, they, if they're trying to rush into something with you, they're going to become codependent on you. Codependency and love is not the same thing. And it's like, almost like this person may be trying to rush you into something because they need you. You don't want somebody to try to be like, fine, I'm going to get in, I'll go and get in a commitment with the collective or I'll, I'll settle down with them. But it's because I need them. I, I need to be able to have somebody help me pay these bills. I need somebody to help me take care of these kids. That is not the right reasons to get into a relationship. It's better for you to wait until this person gets all their ducks in a row and they come towards you because they love and they desire you. They want you, not because they need you. If somebody's getting into a relationship because they need you, that's codependency. That's a problem. And I can see that this that's what this person is going to try to do here or if they haven't already tried to do it. So Spirit is warning you. Yes, this is, you and this person may end up, you know, you may have a divine mission together. You are maybe supposed to be together, right? But this person is just getting out of something else. And for some of you, they're not even telling you the truth about this. And that's another problem. They may not even be wanting to completely be upfront honest with you. Like, look, I was in another situation. And this is why I was in this situation. Because we have this mask energy here. Like they're hiding something from you. It could just be that this person, it's like they're not telling, it's like there's something they're keeping hidden. Their true intentions, their feelings, that they got another situation. They definitely have another situation going on. All right. There's somebody that they've been holding on to for the wrong reasons. You don't want to become the next person that they're with for the wrong reasons, right? You want to be the person that they come together with because they love you and they're right. Like they, they're, they got their shit together. You got your shit together and you guys can come together and have something balanced and reciprocal and build together, right? Be a power couple. So be careful with this person because they, they need to work on being single 
and focusing on themselves, completely detaching from this other situation, learning how to stand on their own two feet, and then, you know, maybe things will be different. This is also very similar to the collective reading that I posted on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram last night. Okay, so I just felt like that was something that I needed to share with you guys. Be careful about rushing into something with this person. So they may come towards you and they may say that they want everything with you, right? But really um, use your discernment and really feel out the situation before you make the decision to go into something too deep with them right now. The future, that may be a completely different story. But right now or in the near future right after they've ended this other situation it's just it's not gonna turn out the way that you want it to all right yeah it's like they could even be married to another person yeah unexpected events i feel like the situation will get resolved and i feel like everything has happened the way that it's supposed to i do see them coming in with a romantic offer but i feel like you and this person may end up just being friends for right now or you or you're just i don't know like, I don't see you and this person being on bad terms, but it's like, you may just choose to like, you you may end up friend zoning this person for right now. The universe has brought you two together. Trust the journey, even if you don't quite understand it yet. Yeah. Because you just don't feel like they may be coming in with a romantic offer or making this romantic gesture, or even gifting you something. They may even say they want to marry you, but I feel like... It, yeah, you guys may not be expecting this. It says a door that was closed is not open, but just be careful about rushing into that too fast. Yes, this is pot. And yeah, I see the cheating heart card here. I don't know why that's card that's showing itself, but yeah, this person may end up doing. And it's like this too. Your twin is not ready to accept this connection and rejecting this love because of the parameters of the conventional world. So, on top of all that. They're not even really ready to like really surrender to this connection, like accept the love and emotions and feelings and like really, really ready to settle down, settle down. Like they're not. So they may end up like cheating or they may end up because I saw ghosting too. They may end up running from you again or they may end up, you know, cheating on you or like this could be somebody that has cheated on you before or like obviously they had you in a third party situation, but yeah, this is your twin flame, but it says the test, you're establishing boundaries, testing your limitations, how you resolve these conflicts will determine if you'll be able to stay together. When I tell you guys, I've seen the word boundaries 50 million times today. So you're just saying boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. At this very moment, when it comes to this person in this situation, boundaries, okay? Because yes, it is intense between the two of you. But it's like they haven't really awakened. They don't. They don't appreciate you as much as they should. And they really haven't accept it or awaken to the true depth of the emotions that they have for you they could be suppressing these emotions so spirit is telling you to go down a different path right now they're telling you that this is a detour now you know detours still lead you to the same destination so they're telling you to go down a different path but it's still going to lead you guys back to each other but this is so it says both of you are starting to give up the need to control it's not about giving up on the connection but accepting you can't run from destiny this person has to stop right as i was going to say running this person's got to stop running from you. They got to stop running from their feelings and emotions. There's something about this person not liking to take accountability to. They keep running back to somebody who doesn't hold them as accountable as you. So just be careful of this repeating cycle that you and this person keep going through. Because every time, yeah. You can choose to work on some, try to work on something with this person right now, but they're not ready. They're not ready yet. I'm trying to find that cheating heart card because I want to read what that even says on it. I don't even know where it's at. I don't see it anymore. I think I saw that. Maybe I didn't see that. Oh, is that it? Maybe it wasn't that one. Well, I saw it. I saw it for some reason. So that could be a message for some of you, but... Maybe I didn't see it. Well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> I thought I saw it. Maybe it was something else. What was it? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but maybe it wasn't cheating heart. That's good. So let's do one more of these, and then I'm going to get some tarot cards. See, we have marriage. Spirit says, if you have patience, if you don't try to rush things, rush things before it's ready, or before they're ready, before you're ready, with great patience, you will achieve the commitment you're looking for. This will be the kind of love many only dream of finding. That's what this connection could evolve into. 
if you make the decision to stop going through, the, yeah, I see breakthrough, we have reunion, but it's, it says both of you have learned a lot about yourselves and understand the potential of your connection. This reunion will be physical in nature. Yeah, it's like, you got to give this situation time to grow and evolve into what it's what it could be. You And I'm not telling you to wait on this person. They're just telling you to have your boundaries in place, move on with your life, be open to any, just be, go with the flow, be open, date other people, do whatever. You don't ever even have to be with this person ever again. You have free will. But for those of you that want to be with this person, this is what I have for you. <laughs> so we have eight of cups. They're telling you it's time to walk away. Yeah. So you walking away is going to be a wake-up call for this person with the awakening card here. You walking away is what's triggering this person's awakening. When you when they come back talking about, I want us to be a family, I want to marry you, I love you. Like, let's be together right now. Let's let's rush into something. And you're like, actually, take some time for yourself. And I don't I need to figure out what I really want. I'm gonna, you know, you do that and I'm gonna go be over here. And you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be. It's gonna trigger their awakening. It's going to be a huge wake up call for them. I do feel like there will be another chance for this relationship at some point, but I just definitely see you walking away from them. We have the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy with judgment. We have the ace of swords. What is this? Queen of pentacles and ace of swords. The ace of pentacles, new beginnings energy. What's going to do with anything? The 10 of cups, guys, look at this. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, that's commitment, that's stability, that's that the happily ever after that's coming in for you when you make the decision to, to set these boundaries. Yeah, what is this? The King of Wands. Somebody's going to be pursuing you. It could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sag, or it's like kind of, yeah, what about the King of Wands? The Seven of Swords. Just know that this person is plotting their return here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you may walk away from them, but all it's going to do is fuel this person. It's going to be motivation for them. They're going to be probably sad about this, but they're going to—they're preparing. This person's going to be in a preparation period. When you walk away from them, they're going to be in there. It's going to trigger them to be a lot more like action oriented or take action so that they can have another more disciplined. Yeah, to have another opportunity with you while you're walking away and focusing on yourself it looks like you're gonna be very abundant have a lot of it's gonna be a breakthrough i don't know how else to put it taurus virgo capricorn energy we have the moon pisces energy and the seven of pentacles the knight of cups the fool aquarius energy pisces cancer scorpio energy the knight of wands the ten of pentacles the wheel. Hmm. What? Clarify the moon. The seven of wands. Okay. Somebody is very determined. But it's like knight of pentacles. Yeah. It's like you guys won't even be knowing. Like you'll maybe feel it possibly, but it's like it'll. This is all gonna be kind of hidden from you. King of Swords and the Seven of What is this? They're seeing something clearly here. What are they seeing? The Six of Wands. What will bring them success or victory? Or what is this? The Ace of Wands. Somebody is just is very determined to return to you in the right way. I feel like you're going to end up, yeah, in a more stable way. King of Pentacles with commitment. This person's a little obsessed with you. <laughs> this person is a little obsessed with you. This divine masculine, the Emperor Aries energy. Yeah, the devil of Capricorn energy to reconcile with you, to bring you justice. Just know, guys, there is somebody that's going to be hell bent on making something right with you, proving themselves to you, being better for you, being the total package for you. But 
obviously this situation has started off very messy. You're going to have to decide if you want to give this person another chance. You know, how we feel or how you feel right now may not be how you feel in a year or how you feel in six months. But I am going to take this over to the extended reading because um, I want to kind of see more of what's about to happen here. Feelings and tensions. Get you guys some guidance. Um, elaborate on this. But the link will be in the description box. Or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, private reading and private readings are closed now. Sorry, guys. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.